Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Sino, which is actually a bullish gap. A bullish gap, a very highly rated bullish gap today, and because there weren't any bearish gaps that rated per my system today, which is over 20 points per the 26-point rating system, I decided to do a bullish gap today. And I'm in it. I'm in it right now. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Have a good entry, a uh, good target in this, good everything. And guess what? It opened and swooshed. I guess this is the one time of the year I'm going long. I usually never do it. I'm very strict with what I do, and I'm strict with this today, but it swooshed. So it seems silly not to do it, and I ended up doing it, and now I'm pretty good much going to be in this for a long time here now because this is a, a play that's going to take some time to get work back up through itself. And let's take a look at it. So here we have it. Again, you know, when I see price moving, when I see something happen live time, I just... I just call it, and I just, I just, the words just come out of my mouth. And the moment that this hit up through some number in here, I don't know where. Before it even did this, I said it's swishing, and and that's exactly what it did. Look at that, low is seventy seven, and the high up in here is almost ten dollars. And I called it was a swish right in here. And actually, this bar itself really could have not been construed as, construed as a swish for this stock price point. But I, I just, I just. I just saw the price. Anyways, it was beautiful. So I know a lot of traders try to fade this today. People like to do that. It's a crazy thing to do because this is too strong now to do anything but buy it. And I'm actually in this long. It's a long. It's a good long. It's a solid long. It's a highly rated professional bullish gap, and it opened and swooshed. When something swooshes, it gives you the 100% conviction. So if you want to do something, you have to rate the gap. You have the rating system, you learn the rating system, you rate the gap, you know it's good. Then you get the swoosh, what do you do? It, gets, it gives you the confirmation and conviction to do the trade. And that's exactly what you do. And this is holding beautifully. It almost is setting up like a breakout play. Breakout play into 12 o'clock lunch, but I'm already in it long. Um, waited and waited and waited, waited to do the 15 minute here, which was a really good entry. And I have a big stop on this, a big, big stop in this for a reason. The spread is fat. It's a high price stock. When you're in a long, you do have to give them more of a cushion. Okay, I trade my shorts tight and that's warranted, but my stop's all the way down here in this guy, right around here. So that's more than enough room. And actually, if I decide to, to take more in here, I could tighten it up, but there's no reason to do that yet. So this has to wait. It has to wait until it's ready to get going. And it's probably going to be the 30 minute. One, two, three. It's probably going to be the next 30 minute bar. The next 30 minute bar that does a 30 minute buy setup. The 60 is not going to do a 60 minute buy setup. This is holding here and really shouldn't break under this number here in the 60. It's got to get over 84 to make a new high. Targets on this are real. 84 is the first target. You can piecemeal out of some. Next target's 87, high of the day. After that, 90. 90 to 9, if the market actually gets going here today and makes a new high and blows over 83 and continues to climb into the close into 4 o'clock, which the market long is an all-day play, Sina will be an all-day play, and the dream target on Sina actually is $100. And I think it needs a market to get there today. It's $20 away. But I think 90 is very realistic. 90 is 100% realistic, and even 95 possibly. 100 needs a market. Okay? But great trade here, and even though the stop is big, we'll have the risk to reward even back up to the high of the day. Very, very patient here in this. Wasn't even going to do it. Didn't do any shorts today. Didn't do anything at all. Uh, there wasn't anything that met this system, but this is good. It's holding here, and you have to be patient. And if you can't be patient, you can't go long. And I really am not a patient person. That's why I prefer to go short. But I guess once or twice a year, I do go long. And you could have gone long the market today. You could have gone long the market every day in the last week if you're in my trading room. I've been calling it. Sign is the long today. Open with a swish and a nice, nice, nice target in this today. It's real. It is real. The stock's a monster. If you looked at this this morning, if you watch this trade, if you see the way this gap is holding in midair, it's a beautiful gap. And here is the power of the gap. This is the power of the gap. This is the power of the gap. Holding here. The stock closed the night before at 66.52 and opened today at $77. Stock gapped up $12 overnight and held in midair and is going to hold. And this is the power of the gap. And this is why trading gaps and trading momentum in gaps makes you lots of money. Beautiful. Amazing. So this is 11.30 here. We'll see how this guy fares out. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want more information on how to trade gaps. The next gap class is June 21st and June 22nd. Obviously, you can learn how to trade bullish gaps too by flipping the points in the system, even though I like to do the shorts. But today I'm in the sign and we'll see how it goes. I'm doing an update later. Have a great day, everybody.